Hi guys, very welcome to Afro Beauty Braids channel. My name is Irene. I'm excited to be here. Today I will be teaching you how to braid with yarn. We'll be doing single plaits. It's one of my favorite uh, protective hairstyle using yarn. Of course, that's what I mean, uh, especially when the cold weather sets in. Right now we're in fall. So yes, it kind of keeps your head warm in cold weather. And it's, it's very cute. Um, I love it. So without further ado, I'll show you how to do this. For those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, um, this is the yarn that I'm talking about. There are different um, types of yarn to mean uh, very different brands out there. I got this from Walmart. Uh, my disclaimer is when you're buying yarn, this is the same yarn that they use to make uh, warm clothing like um, scarves or gloves or hats or sweaters so you just buy it in the black color and um, my disclaimer is it's got to be a hundred percent acrylic uh, it, do not buy wool because that will lock your hair so it's got to be a hundred percent acrylic so basically I just buy two of these and then um, cut the preparation is cutting the thread or yarn um, depending on the length that I want okay so I already um, did my braids they've been like two weeks now uh, because of the uh, dry weather we have the heat on already I tend to have very dry scalp so uh, if you think my braids don't look very new it's because every single day I've had to uh, moisturize my scalp it felt so dry and I know some people will say oh this the yarn is very drying too but at the same time it really does retain moisture what I do is I spray the scalp and a little bit of the yarn probably up to there so uh, so that that moisture is kept in remember it's like a, uh, a clothing so it kind of keeps in the moisture spray it with some water uh, and then just massage my scalp with my hair butter, okay? So I left this little bit of my hair just uh, for the sake of demonstrating to you how I have, uh, you know, how I achieved my yarn braids, okay? Just like any other uh, synthetic braids that we've done before, doing single plus with synthetic braids, these are not less, not less braids using yarn, okay? Oh dear. All my grays are showing but that's fine so I will just probably give you a look at what I did and how nice it looks um, I hope you can see okay like I said um, in this cold weather it really keeps your head warm it also uh, because of the yarn when you spray it and then um, moisturize your scalp it kind of retains the moisture I like the look of yarn I know I haven't gone into showing you how to do it but I just love the look look at the ends now if you're one who loves to wear uh, dread dreadlocks this is kind of a same look yeah and when you burn the ends it for me it looks wonderful i know um i could burn them a little bit more and i love how they create a different color at the end which then looks like a design in itself i'll just turn around so you can see what i'm talking about just give me a minute and so this is what it looks like I'm sure you get the idea so or alternatively I could just do this and look at it I just love that look so to uh, measure out the length of the yarn that I need for my braids um, I will just use the tip of my finger and hold the thread right there and then let me sit back so you can see what I'm doing and then just bring it under my elbow and keep doing that 
so for every uh, every box braid I used nine threads okay or nine pieces of yarn This is what it would look like a ring for those of you that have never done this I've had to go back and show you the basics this is very basic and then you cut the ring once to get the length of the yarn that you need so I then count off uh, nine of these and I'll show you why I do that So let's get to the hair as you can see my hair has been moisturized it's as moisturized as I would want it to be and hopefully I'll be able to lean in and show you exactly look at that I just I just love the look isn't that beautiful anyway getting back to work so I'll do the front bit where you can see me better I'm going to do my best okay that's my box right there And I'll pin away the rest of my hair so it's out of um, out of the way. Okay. So that's my pattern right there. And you can do it whichever way is easier for you. Um, I'll do it the knotless, like I was doing a knotless braid. Okay. So what I was doing is patting it into two. And I won't say much, I'll let you watch so you can follow. And once all the three, um, all the nine threads are in, then I start to braid my hair. Oh, this is also an opportunity. I've never braided my hair on camera, my own hair. So now you have a chance to see me demonstrate this. Now, before I go any other, any further rather, I'll check how my knot looks like. It looks wonderful. And then I just keep going. As you've noticed, I don't use any um, gel because it creates buildup for me. Or if I did use gel, it would be very little, like very little. One thing I like about yarn is that you it's not messy, you don't have to be um, using hair that's flying away, you know what I mean by synthetic hair. When you're braiding with yarn, all you have to do is prepare the yarn, do the pieces that you need, uh, and that's it, and it's quick. So this is the end, and of course I grab one of them, I usually grab the longest.
in this case that's the one make a knot like so and if I'm not very satisfied I will get another knot rather another strand and just knot them together okay that way I'm rest assured it's not gonna come out okay so that's it um, I hope you can see okay there's also a tendency with yarn you have to be very very careful it tends to knot very tightly you don't have to do that and that's how it works be very careful when you're doing that because then if you're not careful on your grip it will really be tight and your scalp will hurt and you don't want to do that or even lose hair in the process okay that's my one now let me see if i can do a second one that's one down very tricky to make lines by yourself but it looks like I'm succeeding okay okay that looks good to have to be in it the other thing that I like about yarn is that when it gets old or starts to get old and the hair is growing it, it really gives you that natural look like nappy hair it looks like nappy hair I love it like it just blends in with your hair and it just looks like, you know, yeah. So here we go with braid number two. And I hope this is very visible. I'm sorry, I'm trying to use a mirror here just to make sure I pat. So that's my box that I'm going to braid and I put it into two. Like I said, I won't say much, but if you watch, you can follow. And like I said, I'm using the 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 knotless braid technique. I keep adding the yarn as I go along. And once all my uh, my nine threads or my nine strands of yarn are added, then I flip it over. and start to braid down. Now I can tell that this strand over here has less yarn and these two have more. So I can borrow from those two to have an equal looking braid, okay? There's no harm in that. Just like you do with the other synthetic hair when you're braiding. It's the same, same, same technique, okay? So now I've gone as far as I could. Make a knot, like I showed you before. And as you can see, some of the yarn was short, so it kind of stopped halfway. And that I will burn. So I'm about I'm going to show you how I clean up my braids once I'm done. So these are the three that I just showed you. I just braided right now. 
um, and the other styles well let's first focus on how to clean them up so I use this um, a lighter yeah I was trying to remember the name sorry I use my lighter to uh, burn it and some people don't like the idea of burning so they'll just put rubber bands and cut off the edges um, I like to burn like I said I like that look at the end it just to me it just looks really cute and it burns so well um, if you need help please do get help don't do this by yourself and that's how I do it roll it and I burn it a couple of times before I get and sometimes when I burn it it's too sh too long and then I'll go back and just burn it again so I kind of roll it around roll it around stop the fire give it a few seconds to cool and you might need to touch some water or use gloves the hardcore gloves those can help too once it cools it kind of um, hardens and it won't unravel and then I go ahead and trim off the edges right so sometimes I burn it like this one and I feel like uh, I'm not so happy about the look I'll go back and burn the end like so and just keep rolling it so it can seal so the burning can take a while um, I'll just sit here and keep going at it like so okay because I don't want this video to be too long I'll just keep burning it and then I'll show you the end picture so with this braid um, I think it's this one maybe not there's one that had some th okay this is it the one that had some thread showing I lit I just go back and burn that extra one until it's really done and that's all you have to do and when it turns brown sometimes I really love the look of those brown dots around like I said it gives it um, a whole different feel to me okay this is very dangerous be very careful don't put it close to your uh, face or eyes don't have any distraction don't be watching something else while you do that this is what it would look like and it doesn't bother me and by the way it doesn't scratch your clothes either it's very soft okay once you have burnt it 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 will have um, a stiff look as you can see that's a little bit stiff as opposed to the ones I did before I'll show you this falls like kind of falls the way you take it this is stiff I will then boil some water in a cup and just dip it now if you have long hair I would not recommend that you dip your hair in hot water now my hair is not that long it stops around there and so I'm very mindful of the length I can dip it as long as I don't get to where my hair is now if I had long hair I would probably just use a rubber band um, style put a rubber band or use one of these pins as a style and seal the air and let me show you other ways you can style this hair you could use these rings and they can hold firm the bottom so remember you do the knot and once the knot is well done and it's not going to come off then you can go ahead and wrap the ends so they can look much better if you don't want the the burnt look or if you don't want to risk with the fire that's what you could do okay just put um, different colors or same color they're silver 
rings they're gold rings gold plated or silver plated and all sorts of things that you can play around i'll also show you some of the beads that um i've used before i love these wooden looking bin uh beads i've used these before and i think i'm going to use them again i um some of my braids are big but i think some can really go in and what i do they're kind of tricky just bear with me okay there we go Ooh, that's all the wood inside don't worry it will come off you could use these i love i had forgotten about these i love them and i can just dot them around or if you have quite a few you can just put them at the edge like one on each braid or two on each braid whichever works for you okay even the rings have different colors look i have these that could also be another possibility now the ones that i really oh sorry look at all this wood i'll clean it up um my favorite rings are the see-through rings or see-through beads rather i love them but these braids were too big they couldn't go through now i remember that i bought these wooden bins and they were very small the reason why they are chipping off is you know what i got a knife and i just made the hole bigger because i really wanted to use them for my braids and that's what happened that's why they're coming off with some chipping but then again i can clean it off so i have a couple of these and i think i'm going to add them to my braids and then i'll show you a picture at the end to for you to see uh different ways you can play around with this yarn uh that's all i had for today i hope you love the yarns i'll go ahead and finish off with this i'll show you the pictures at the end and like i said my choice will be the wooden bins because of the um my braids are very thick or big so I can't, unfortunately i can't use the see-through beads i love these beads they're so cool so yeah i hope you like what it looks like i love them and i do them a lot in cold weather this is kind of like my favorite thing my favorite uh protective hairstyle like i said it warms especially when it's really really cold around december time it keeps your head warm you don't have to put on a hat um it's yeah so this is all i had i hope you enjoyed uh, what i had to share with you today I always want to hear uh, testimonies of who tried it who sh um, and how it's worked for you. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, um, thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye.